How's Chris Hackett? How's his uh, fitness? Um, he's, 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 it's a long-standing growing problem that he's had, and sometimes we, f- we have to sh- take him out of training for a week uh, and just play a couple you know, of games and, and just sort of make sure we wrap him in cotton wool, really. And it's one of those, he, I saw him stretching it from the very first minute, but the nature of, uh, of Chris is that he wants to keep playing, and uh, thankfully he, he did, and you know he, he played very, very well. And unfortunately, we had to, to bring him off just for as a precaution, really, because we don't want to lose him for key games. Um, over a longer period, so Stuart came on and did a, a, a very good deputising job. And you know, I, I haven't brought uh, Stuart here to, to be on the bench. I brought him to play, uh, but it's a sort of situation where you've got you know really good performances from your wide players. It keeps everybody on the toes because you know the, the, if they don't do it, then you know quality can come in and, 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 and cause problems. Mm. Because you've got Everton and you've got Dallas. Does that mean you can afford to give Chris a, a rest this weekend potentially, or when he does need <coughs> a rest? Well. Perhaps I could, but I, I, the way I feel we are at the moment, I feel that Chris is our, is our strongest and best attacking player. And uh, he's not only likely to, to, to create, but he's always likely to score and he takes our set plays. He's a big player for us and, and if he's fit, then, which he, you know, he, he should be, you know, he's 90% sure he will be, then, then he'll play. Mm.